right, let's take a look at a rotation that actually happens in the coordinate plane. So in this case, what I see here is a triangle in the coordinate plane, uh, A, B, C, and you can see the coordinates of those points. And what I want us to do is I want us to rotate triangle A, B, C by 90 degrees in a counterclockwise direction about the origin. So what that means is I want to actually take this triangle and around this point, I want to change things by 90 degrees. I can actually do it for you visually, just for fun, if you understand that this is not going to be quite right because the axes are going to be wrong. But if you just want to see what it's going to look like visually, check it out. That's the answer. This, is, this has got to be the Y and that's got to be the X. But visually, when we fix things up, if you sort of hide those things a little bit, visually it's going to be in the third quadrant. That's what we see here. And so, and the reason is because I just did exactly what I advertised. I just rotated about the origin by 90 degrees, counterclockwise. Let's confirm that. And we'll confirm that by thinking about exactly what the actual rotation would look like. Well, let's see. If I take an arbitrary point that has coordinates x, comma, y, where would it get sent to under this transformation? Well, under this transformation, what happens to x? Well, x would actually become, if you think about it for a second, the x value for the new thing would become the negative y of the old thing. And the new y would be the old x. Let's see this in action just for fun. Let's pick this point here. That's 4, comma, 0. If I rotate that point about the origin by 90 degrees, where is it going to go? It's going to go up here, which you see now is 0, comma, 4. So 4, comma, 0 goes to 0. That's negative 0, comma, 4. Checks. But what if I took the point, let's say, 0, 3, and rotate it 90 degrees counterclockwise? Then it goes all the way to negative 3, 0. So 0, 3 goes to negative 3, 0. You can see this transformation actually works. So let's see where everyone goes. So where is uh, A going to get mapped to? Well, what I send it to is negative y, which is going to be negative 1, comma, negative 1. So negative 1, comma, negative 1 is right here. That's going to be the A prime. A prime is how we mark the image of A under this map, which is going to be the point that has coordinates negative 1, comma, negative 1. All right, what about B? Where does B go to? Well, under this map, we see it goes to negative 2, comma, negative 4. So negative 2, comma, negative 4, that's exactly the coordinates for B prime. And what about C? Well, under this map, Negative 2, comma, 5 goes to negative 5, comma, negative 2. Negative 5, comma, negative 2 is right here. That's C prime. And if you remember our sort of informal, just fun, silly attempt where I just actually turned the entire picture, rotated the whole picture by 90 degrees counterclockwise, we saw the triangle all of a sudden appear what seemed like to be in the third quadrant. We now see is the reality because there is, in fact, the rotation. You can see it for yourself. If you took this thing and rotated it out 90 degrees, you'd get this picture right here. Perfect.